I tell you what, if you want a craft soda made with pure cane sugar, there is nothing better than Dublin Bottling Works out of Dublin, Texas. That is some good stuff. But that's not what this video is about. <sighs> So in my last video, I showed you the deuce gear or load bearing equipment or 782 gear that I was issued and used when I was in the Marine Corps in the 80s and 90s. And it was good gear and it still is good gear. And there's people that still use it and wear it. Um, it's, it's, it's good stuff. And you can find it very inexpensively still. And uh, there's not a thing wrong with it. But I thought, wouldn't it be fun to try to recreate this gear with some of the modern improvements and the modern equipment and see what we come up with. So this is what I've come up with. I'll call this the modern 782 gear. And um, basically it's the same stuff as what showed you over here. It's the suspenders, the battle belt, butt pack, two canteen pouches, ammo carriers. Now, I have more mag pouches here than I had over here, but there's a there's a method to my madness. I'll explain that. And then there's even a uh, IFAC or first aid kit. So let's look at them piece by piece. First of all, let's look at the first aid kits. Now, the Marine Corps first aid kit was really kind of ahead of its time. As I said, the, the Army had a very small uh, first aid kit, they called it. It was basically a pouch that would carry up to two of the uh, of the cravats or dressings. And um, But the Marine Corps went a little farther. And while I don't have the original contents in here, the original first aid kit came in this uh, nylon pouch, and it was a, it was a plastic... Uh, case that went inside it and it had uh, you know band-aids it had a little bit of um, dressing it had the large dressing it had uh, your water purification tablets were considered part of your first aid kit um, I'll see if I can find a photo of what originally went in there but I really think that this is a big improvement um, this is a modern IFAC and it will hold a lot more. Now, when you hold more, you weigh more, right? So we got to consider that. The original first aid kit weighs right at three quarters of a pound. And it's full of stuff. Not the, the same stuff it had, but I'm sure it's, it's very close in weight. The new IFAC, and it's loaded with gear, um, gear that never would have made it into this old thing weighs 1.29 pounds so about double the weight but you're getting a lot a lot more into this first aid kit next we'll look at the mag pouches now I have more capacity for ammo magazines on this new rig you can put, put three magazines in here facing like this and you can put two magazines here flat. Now that almost doubles the capacity. That gives me four or more. There I would have had six mags. Here I'll have uh, ten. Yeah, ten. But the two up here will be pretty flat because they lay flat. And you remember if uh, you watched my last video, one thing that we did was we tried to keep this area right here empty so that you could lay flat. If you're low crawling or you have to get down, you didn't have a lot of stuff right in front of you. I feel like this type of pouch with these flat mags will still allow you to get in the prone. And these large mag pouch covers will help to um, 
uh, protect the magazines if you are low crawling and getting down in the dirt. So that's why I was willing to go with that. Here you can see what I mean about these pouches. The uh, magazines lay flat, well protected, and an added bonus is that P mags will fit in here, and you have a hard time getting three P mags into the older uh, carriers. Now, one of the negatives that I will admit to is the Velcro, and I don't care for Velcro on everything, and it's not just the sound. Um, if you're reaching for a mag, um, probably you've already gotten involved, and and you're not you're not going to give yourself away. Uh, you should have had a mag in your in your uh, weapon, and if you're changing mags, probably you're already involved in something. So it sounds not a big deal. No, my concern is just the the wear and tear on the Velcro. Eventually, it's going to give way. It's it's just going to wear out. I do like snaps, I do like buck buckles, and I really wish that, uh, that these had those. Next, the canteen pouches. I've gone with a more modern canteen pouch, and this just happens to be the kind that has the, the uh, mesh bottom, and I like that. It's, it's very much like the GP pouch, although it does not have any pockets on the size on the sides and that doesn't bother me but it'll hold a gi canteen just great but even better it will hold a um, nalgene bottle or a gatorade bottle or even a one liter water bottle if you want but uh the nalgene bottles is what i go with now i i don't use i don't use gi canteens anymore uh, now gene bottles are the way to go as far as I'm concerned. So two of those, uh, I like them lots. And the positive there is although they have this GP capability of being a general purpose pouch, um, you still have, in addition to the Velcro, a nice snap. On to the butt pack. Uh, some of you are going to be butt hurt over what I've done here. I've taken a tactical tailor butt pack and as you may have noticed I've removed the two side pouches. Um, I just did not care for that type of butt pack. Uh, I thought it was too big and so I removed them and I'm just pulling out stuff that I had to give it some shape. So I left the rear pouch that didn't bother me and it has a weather flap and it even has a little zipper compartment on the inside of the outer flap. So compared to the old butt pack, I think it does real good. I wish it had this handle right here. I think that would be a big improvement. Um, everybody's gone away from that on butt packs, but I wish they would bring it back. Um, Really, this outer pouch, you could probably get most of the IFAC stuff in there, and that's not a bad way to go. I've even thought about getting one of those IFAC inserts that come on the on the dummy cord and using that right here as my IFAC. And I think that's that's a, a neat a neat way to go. But there's my butt pack. So that takes care of everything on the belt. Now Let's look at the suspenders. So the improvement here is we actually have some PALS webbing on the back that if we wanted to, we could put another butt pack. We could put a pouch of some sort. We could even put a very small um, um, water bladder if we wanted to. Other than that, I would say the amount of padding is about the same. I really didn't gain any padding here, but what I did gain is a sternum strap if you need that and this back um, landscaping here that's going to give you the ability to put a water bladder or se a separate little pouch or pack up there if you decide you want it so back in the old days they didn't call it a battle belt they called it a war belt and it literally was just a belt nowadays 
your battle belt has a lot more comfort to it. Uh, it's much thicker and it has the ability to really hold your gear. Um, the old Alice, um, and I don't think that's the correct nomenclature, but we call them uh, Alice clips. The old Alice clips, they were kind of kind of wompy. Uh, the new way, the Pals and the Molly webbing, you know, the different snaps and, and um, threading, it just really holds the stuff tight. This is a really comfortable belt and this is actually the outside part and what I've done is I've written and I've built all this I built all of this out of stuff that that I came across this did not come as a complete set or anything like that I understand I have Frankenstein this all together so I've got running inside this battle belt a regular old webbing belt and uh, and straps so trying to save a little bit of a uh, weight there but I think it's a it's a good solution so there it is there's my modern deuce gear my modern lbe but what does it weigh compared to the old stuff let's find out all right so here we have just the deuce gear nothing in any of the pouches no mags no canteens and it comes in at 4.09 pounds. So let's see what my modern deuce gear weighs. All right, there's my modern deuce gear. Nothing in any of the pouches. And it weighs 4.84. So we went from 4.09 to 4.84. And I think that we've got something for our money. We've got a much more comfortable belt. Really no difference in the comfort on the um, suspenders, but we have got more use out of it. And um, I would say we probably have more ability to add weight because we have the ability to add more magazines. And of course, weight is weight. But if you're giving your weight over to either ammo or water, I don't think you're going wrong. So there we have it. That is my modern take on the tried and true 782 gear. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's, in most areas, it's an improvement. Except for the Velcro, I don't see any, any detriment. A little bit more weight, but you get, I think, more comfort, and you get the ability to handle more ammo. And I don't know that that's ever a bad thing. Now, I think I want to have a contest. I haven't had one in a long time, and uh, I meant to have one when I hit 5,000 subscribers. And I really appreciate that, and, and I just didn't get around to it. So let's have a contest. I'm going to give away my old deuce gear. And, uh, and so I'll, let me go ahead and say that if you don't cotton to old deuce gear, if you don't want any old deuce gear, you probably don't want to enter the contest. But I'm going to give away this old deuce gear. Now, I'm not giving you my lensatic compass, but I'll let you have the canteens, and I'll even throw in that old elbow flashlight there. But I'm going to give this old stuff away, if anybody wants it. Maybe nobody does. But if you would like my old deuce gear, all you have to do is pay shipping. All you have to do is pay shipping. But if you would like my, my old deuce gear for free, plus shipping, Go ahead and put down in the comments, I want your old deuce gear. That's what you got to say. I want your old deuce gear. Say that and you'll be in the contest, in the running to get my old deuce gear. And um, as long as you'll pay the shipping, I'll send it out to you. So um, I want to thank you for watching. I hope this is interesting to you. It's interesting to me. Bye.